So the Chicago Bears are going to be in searches for another head coach very, very soon. After the season's over, maybe even before they're going to be looking. They're probably already looking now, you know, as there have already been rumors because Matt Nagy is going to be fired by the end of the season. If not, there's going to be a riot in Chicago. But I believe he should be, I think I, you know, I believe he should be out there anyways. So if you like talking about college football, I do. If you like talking about the NFL and all, and you know these types of rumors, you hit that subscribe button, you like, and put the post notification bell on, and don't be afraid to give me your thoughts down in the comment section down below. So it is rumored that the Chicago Bears are interested in Ryan Day. Figures, right? You get Justin Fields, former product of Ohio State. Ryan Day coached in there, and there's already rumors sprouting up that the Bears are interested in Ryan Day. So, if I'm going to give you my thoughts on Ryan Day, I think he's a solid head coach, but I want to see how he would do with less with lesser talent. That Ohio State team is very, very good. You know, it's not like Urban Meyer just left and all the talent left. There's still a lot of talent he worked with. And the system that he does run seems like it needs you know, at least decent talent to, you know, to get going, just like any system. But it seems, but, you know, it really helps that talent. And the Bears do have some of that. You know, they have Fields, of course. Darnell Mooney, who I think is an uprising star, who I think is very underrated. Allen Robinson, will he be there next season? Probably not. But then you have David Montgomery, Tariq Cohen, Cole Clement. I think you get him going. So they have some guys in the offense that can make a difference. But it's a matter of fact of them doing the little things right. And, you know, if you're just going to bring in Ryan Day just to expect him to fix all your, all your offensive woes just like that, just because he has a connection with Fields and all that, that's ridiculous. That's not going to happen. It's going to take time. That offensive line is not very good. Um, so that is, so that's what it is there. But he, but he is very good adjusting to that talent. Even though he hasn't had lesser talent, he has adjusted – to play to each talent's strengths, which is very important. Very, very, very important for a head coach in the NFL. You need to know how to use every one of your players in their best possible strengths. So he's good at getting playmakers in space. He's very QB friendly. You know, he he knows how to work with QBs. You know, you know, he's had some very good quarterbacks less. You know, Fields, Stroud, and there's a very good quarterback room there. Um He's very good at attacking the entire field, you know, typical gun spread he runs. So, you know, there's a lot to like about Ryan Day, but there's definitely questions and things that need to be considered about this head coach. So, like I said, Urban Meyer didn't leave him in the dust. He had talent, and he was the offensive, offensive coordinator under Urban. So he's going to have some similarities. You know, does he have a better personality though that's you know that's a big question it, and and he probably does it's not it's not difficult to be much of a worse leader um than Urban Meyer not taking planes back to go with the team all that other crazy stuff so do you Bears fans think that Ryan Day would be the answer to the Chicago Bears team he could definitely help the offense with Fields and, and himself. He could definitely improve the offense a bit. But don't forget, that defense definitely has some holes now. That, you know, it's not the normal Chicago Bears Chicago Bears defense that we're normal to watching. It's just inconsistent. It's just not what it was. It's just not. That's a straight, that's a straight truth. That's the truth. So, their offensive line is not very good if, when you go back to the, um, Offensive line, it's not good. You know, it, you know, it's just not. And when you come to that and you need some time and, you know, he hasn't had experience working with the bad offensive line, he may struggle to figure that out. I just think that Ryan Day's system in Ohio State is very old, is way oversimplified. I think it's very simplified. And when you come to the NFL, it's very different. You can't be so simplified. Kind of what Matt, what Matt Nagy was. He wasn't very creative. He had some nice plays, but when he handed it over to the offensive coordinator last year and a little bit this year, we've seen a difference in the offense. Very good offense. They're a very good running team. And that's what they need to play to, towards. Their strengths in running the ball. So, 
that's all I really got for you guys today. I don't think they should go after Ryan Day. I think they should go after a guy in Ryan Benetemy over in Kansas City, over in Kansas City, who has coached, you know, and brought along and developed one of the best young quarterbacks in the entire NFL right now, and Patrick Mahomes. Why not bring him over? Get some confidence in Justin Fields with him. You know, Ryan Day is, a, is his former coach, so that's not really you know a difference there. But I mean, like, bring someone in who is experience in the NFL don't just bring someone in just because you have that connection with that guy just because Justin Fields has that connection with Ryan Day doesn't mean that's why you just bring him bring him in you know it would be ridiculous if the Kansas City Chiefs you know yeah I was still um what's his name Andy Reid but say it wasn't Andy Reid it was someone else there's another head coach coming in. It would be ridiculous just to bring in um, the Oklahoma quarterback just because of that. Or the, or the, Oklahoma, or the Oklahoma head coach just because of that. Um, Josh Allen. Sean McDermott got there recently. It would have been ridiculous, kind of recently, it would have been ridiculous to bring in the Wyoming head coach when Josh Allen came in. Now... The Wyoming, the Wyoming head coach from then, and Ohio State quarterback, and or the Ohio State head coach and Ryan Day, completely different divisions in football, completely different talents, you know. So, so my point is, just don't force it. Just don't force it. If you have a guy that's experienced, like Ben Enemy, if you have a guy like that, take him. Take him, or take the guy over in Carolina who may come out. I want to go after Ryan Day, honestly. I know it's tempting, but just because the quarterback... <sighs> you guys know what I'm trying to get at. Don't be desperate. Don't force it. If you get desperate and try to force it in the NFL, as we've seen, it doesn't turn out good. So, I don't even think Ryan Day would be an amazing head coach, but I think he'd be okay. And the Bears have settled with OK for quite too long now. So you guys let me know what you think about the rumors of of the Chicago Bears maybe possibly getting Ryan Day from the Ohio State Buckeyes. I wouldn't do it. I think it would be ridiculous. Maybe, you know, maybe not ridiculous. You know, they're going to have the reasons. Fields, of course, definitely up there. Maybe a fresh college mind to the game. But, too simplified. It's way oversimplified, his offense is to me. So, you guys let me know. You Bears fans let me know. Or or anyone else who's watching this, don't be afraid to give me your honest opinion. I'm not going to judge you. If someone else judges you, who cares? It's your opinion, man. I don't care. I don't have to agree with it. But I respect it. 100%. Don't be afraid to drop what you think down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. I hope you have all had a great day. I hope you all have a great night, whatever time it is where you are. And don't be afraid. Once again, don't be afraid to give me your thoughts. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. I thank you for watching, and you have a great day. Peace out.